warning, this video contains graphic images that may not be suitable for little sissy bitches. So, your discretion is advised. We kill shit here. Well guys, this is the best wildcat spot I got. I got a nice pile of dry dirt, little uh, like kind of a cubby dirt hole. Got a little bit of Christmassy stuff. We're gonna try to shoot for, I, I don't know how many times I've caught a possum and I see a bobcat walk right there around him when I have a possum. This is the set right here. I've caught five bobcats at, in one season and this one crab, so. We got Duke 650s guarding both holes, side by side, trail camera covering both of them. We can see what we, how they work it, if I miss them, what's walking through here, and of course, uh, the possibility of theft. So this is my best spot. It's a decent walk to get here. So that's why we, we got two working sets. Yeah, it's a crow flying over, but that's what they look like. Like I say, we got Christmas decoration on this one. You can see where my tinsel was from last year, still there. My old dirt hole was still there. You can kind of see the V. It's, it's, this is, uh, I've been using this spot for a long time. So it's funny, even some, the wax sand was still in the spot. So that's kind of funny when I dug it out. There is a game trail right there that runs down that way. Straight along there, and there's the camera. So this is all we got. It's a simple little location, but I just tra I just trapped this area one one year, and this is where most of the bobcats were caught. So we just kind of come to this one spot, set it, and that's about it. All right, stay tuned, guys. guys the sun's setting on another beautiful day and we got a stinky guy oh boy god is he stinky caught in the 650 he's a kind of grumpy aren't you a little bit grumpy just woke him up he's enjoying the sun well, this is the uh, second one in this set. Try to get it remade and hopefully keep getting them. I've had, uh, down the way here, I've had one dug up several times. So, cut a coyote here a couple days ago. Not here, but down that way. And I got this guy. So, hopefully we got the digger. He, he messed up on this one. Alright. We'll get him taken care of and throw a dirt hole in, put some old predator in there and uh, some stanky beaver. So, pretty dog. Take every dog we can get. Stay tuned. All right, well, I don't have very good of lighting, so look at that. Perfect pad catch in the 650. Trap's gonna go here. Kind of got a a mound already there, so we're just gonna roll with this mound. Ain't got my gloves, ain't got nothing. They're in the truck. I kinda lost my favorite pair of gloves, and then, so I'm using the one, the one pair I have. I don't know where the old dirt hole was, so we're gonna make a new one. But this hole is facing north to south. And the way it's set up right now has nothing to do with anything, but the uh, sun all day is beating right here. And right now, 
it's not that cr crazy cold but when it's so, when it's winter time you want to get i want to get the sun on there to keep my shit dry you get in the shade no that's not a 650 that's a 550. duke 550 got it done nice i just kind of throw traps out guys i i got a pile of duke traps and i just kind of throw them out and i just i guess i didn't realize i put a 550 here that's a second catch and i didn't give him any credit for it that hole is not very good i'm gonna have to fix that we're a little off a little bit this is a crude remake and this coyote stinks so we need to make this go this way i want to center it there that's perfect there i like that now sifter can't see nothing it's getting dark boys sift some of this old coyote pee on there look how dusty this is this is not going to freeze up anytime soon look at that beautiful Put then all back over there perfect small predator just happens to be a stick right here all predator boys is kicking butt for not, i'm in an area that just does not have a lot of coyotes as you it's just <laughs> i don't know there's there is coyotes but there just ain't a lot of them okay stinky beaver hiding in there hiding in plain sight did I forget to put it back in? Here it is. So I gotta figure out a lighting. I would like to have a tripod lighting that I could put right over the back of me here and kind of shine down. There's my stanky beaver in the hole. I'm gonna grab some sheep's wool and, or actually, yeah, sheep's wool, we're in Iowa. So I was about said rabbit fur, but I forgot where I was. All right, stay tuned. All right, sheep's wool in the hole here. Clear down in. Uh-oh, I just covered the hole up. I guess you could have put rabbit fur clear down in the hole as long as it's not visible to predators. It's clear down in there. So you could use it here, I suppose. Actually, I had someone message me and tell me I could use something, but I can't remember what it was. But I try to just stay 100% certain of my regulations look at that welfare dog look at this fur on this guy jesus beautiful i like that one we got droppings all over the place kick some bl dirt on this blood i don't that is a oh wow oh oh god oh that's less than ideal oh lord it's a heavy dog i'm gonna weigh this one all right stay tuned guys well guys i i don't remember if the footage is rolling or not but i said i wanted to weigh it because it felt heavy but it's not um i guess it was just heavier than some of the other dogs we got some little wussy dogs here but it's getting there i'm never gonna i don't think i'm ever gonna break that 34 pounds not with these guys so oh well keep on trucking thanks for watching guys